Dunning a little too liberal with the hands on the push. And so the inbound to Jacobson. Hands off to Smith. Guarded by the other Smith. Trying to fit through mid-range. Got it. Good turnaround. A little separation. And some Smith on Smith action now in the front court as well. Yeah, great job by Braden Smith there. Didn't get the initial look he was looking for. Able to use the pivot foot. And a nice little pump fake and finish, up, finish off in the lane. Thomas Thompson hands off to Charity. Now Charity spinning, driving to the lane. Can't get it to go. Thompson rebound. And a foul is called on Purdue. Yeah, I think that's going to be on Caleb first again. It's going to be his third foul here in the first half, and that's a tough break. Because right away you see TKR benching, going to get first back on the bench in the foul trouble. First up to three fouls now. GBSU not quite in the bonus yet. Driving to the sideline. Good ball in. So the shot made by Charity ended up sticking in the net. And that makes the score 42 to 17, Purdue. Charity was able to finish it off, but what a pass from Ethan Alderink, the no-looker, dropping that dime there. A great pass. Hopefully some momentum now being built for the Lakers. Alderink started the game wearing one of those face guards and has now taken it off, perhaps inhibiting his vision. That one was knocked out of bounds, and it'll be Purdue basketball. Yeah, I can't imagine that's comfortable wearing one of those, one of those plastic masks. I know it's protective, but again, it, it can't be comfortable, and it probably does uh, hinder some vision. Javion Otten is also wearing one for GVSU. A couple of blows to the face, perhaps, for either of those. Now Kaufman Wren, five seconds on the shot clock. Looking to get inside. Tried to give up to Jacobson, and it was knocked out of bounds. 1.2 left on the shot clock. But prior to that, we will head to another time to Kaufman Wren, and he will not get the shot up since there was only 1.2 left on the shot clock and didn't get it up in time. So a shot clock. Not the, uh, the conversation I'd like to go back into the huddle and have with Matt Painter after uh, coming out of a timeout is, you know, turning the ball over and, and what was supposed to so bringing it up the floor now is Trevor Smith Jr. Trying to find a little bit of space for a passing lane. And now Alderink, who's put the mask back on. Charity down the sideline for three. No good. Caden Brown couldn't get it to fall, but it falls to Charity on the rebound. Charity gets it in over Jacobson. Good fight for the offensive rebound, and Charity was able to sneak that layup past the seven foot four man in the center. Yeah, Charity really earned that one, especially against the, the size mismatch with Jacobson, but he was able to get under and get in front of him and finish it at the rim. Lawyer, mid range, got it. The two is good for Fletcher Lawyer. Call it six points for him on the night. No good from Trevor Smith Jr. And now Purdue looking to break out. Smith gives to Kaufman Wren. Tried to give it inside to Jacobson who just couldn't handle the pass. And they'll go out of bounds. Four sets, but when the opportunity presents itself, they're really trying to run down this defense of Grand Valley State. So Javion Otten checking in for Jalen Charity. Charity's their top scorer right now. He's got eight. It's been kind of a two-man show between him and Mason Docks. Currently bringing up the ball at the floor. Dunn tried to give it to Alderink, but it got taken away. Now Lawyer tried to give forward to Kaufman Wren. Now Docks outside Otten. Now Dunn. They were trying to twist it all the way around the perimeter. Bit of miscommunication on the last pass. And so some sloppy passing in the last two possessions from both teams. Yeah, second turnover of the game for the Purdue Boilermakers, followed up by the seventh for Grand Valley State. But that's, I was going to make a point of that, that early on here, Purdue has really put a focus on their defense here early on in this season and you know, struggling a little bit against Creighton, but they are not struggling defensively here tonight. Active hands, talking on the floor, staying in their defensive set. Yeah. Trey Kaufman-Wren finishing things off offensively on the other end. Kaufman-Wren getting loose 
on the block. And he's the first Boilermaker into double digits. He's got 10. Yeah, and, and I know I'm going to regret saying this, but a perfect 5-for-5 five five from the field is Trey Kaufman-Wren, and he is cash money when he's close to the bucket. Kickball from Braden Smith. And so Jalen Charity will check in for Javion Otten. And Raleigh Burgess will check in for... Can't do that. I'd probably pull something. You're allowed to use your foot in volleyball. They do not allow you to use your foot here in basketball. Miscommunication on the switch, and Caden Brown with about the easiest bucket GVSU's had today. Yeah, the Red Seas parted, and there was no one there, and he was able to get to the, get to the cup and finish it off. Smith gives to Colvin. Now inside Kaufman Wren. Kicks out Lawyer. Wide open for three. On the elbow. Lawyer hits. 49-21 Purdue with just over a minute left. And the Boilers have hit four of their last four field goals and being led by Kaufman Wren and Lawyer here this evening offensively. But you know, Braden Smith there again. Active hands at the top of the key. Not allowing Grand Valley State to get their offensive set. The battle between Mason Dox and Braden Smith has been a good one today. Mason Dox has been picking up from full court all night. Braden Smith has started doing the same. So inbounded by Charity. Now it's Caden Brown trying to get past Smith. Does floater no good, but a foul is called. And that will be a foul on Braden Smith. And so to the line will be Caden Brown, and he will shoot two. Didn't see it there. Perhaps it was earlier. It looks like probably when he picked the dribble up. Caden Brown misses the first. Are they, giving, are they giving away free chicken again this year if you miss two free throws? I think so. At least the student section believes so. Brown hits his second. Yeah, the, the audible aw and the boos. The boo bird's coming out for Caden Brown. He'll argue he's just trying to do his job. Hey, it's a great promotion here, giving away uh, free chicken to everyone in the, in the building if multiple free throws are missed. Just makes the building even louder than it normally is, which is very loud. Kaufman Wren hands the lawyer. He got fouled hard by Trayvon Gunther. I wonder when they do the decibel levels if they if they factor in if it's a uh, you know the jumbotron just saying get louder and it just showed a decibel meter and everybody just started screaming their heads off. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we have a, a sideline reporter tonight, Nelly Fideli, but I, I couldn't hear her if she was trying to talk earlier during warm-ups when this place was, was getting getting turned up. I haven't seen her either. It's been it's a size sellout, so you can't really tell where she is. GVSU struggling with 22. And, and Fletcher Lawyer is also, he's six for seven from the free throw line here this evening, and that's something you want to try to replace with Zach no longer being here is, is the made free throws and that discrepancy, and Lawyer is doing a nice job replicating that here this evening for the Boilers. Deep three from Caden Brown didn't fall, and Purdue will have the last shot. Shot clock turned off, 10 seconds left. Screen from Kaufman Wren, and a foul on Mason Docks, and Smith will go to the line for two. Yeah, that, that one more. To make the shot that you'll never be given. After a foul, the ball and you shoot it from half court, goes in only to realize your coach called the timeout before you let the shot go. Smith goes two for two from the line, and now Docks will try and take it up quickly. Five seconds left. Docks looking for space for three. Foul by Smith. Infringed on the landing spot. No question here with two and a half seconds left. Are you that that's sold on not letting Purdue take the last shot? Docks is his first of three. And Smith continues to conversate with the official who called the foul. Docks hits his second. And the free throw discrepancy before these last three free throws here was pretty significant, about six. Boilers are 10 of 11, shooting 91% in the first half. Grand Valley State shooting just over 70%. Docks is in the double digits now with 10. Smith for three. No good. Hit the backboard.